Inside the world's largest goat meat processing plant, the comprehensive truth about the production and handling of goat meat is unveiled. From the farming process, processing, to goat meat production. Leave a number one to ensure you'll watch the entire video with me. In the goat meat processing plant, the production process is carried out with meticulous care and high quality to ensure the final product meets standards and is appealing. The first step is the meat trimming and packaging process. Goat meat is carefully selected, then trimmed, removing unwanted parts and cut into suitable portions. Finally, it's packaged for preservation. Additionally, the plant processes goat milk cheese, a unique and enticing product. After meticulous processing, the goat milk is fermented to create smooth cheese, featuring a distinctive flavor and rich in nutrients. Goat milk cheese from the plant is not only a delicious choice, but also a source of essential protein and calcium for health. Quality, food safety, and unique flavors are the highlights that the plant commits to deliver to customers. The goat leather will be distributed by the factory to fashion production workshops. The leather pieces will be softened, purified, and meticulously processed to create premium leather product. Due to its flexibility and high durability, goat leather is often used as material for sweet. Products such as handbags, wallets, or shoes made from goat leather not only exude luxurious beauty, but also ensure quality and durability. Accessories and bags made from goat leather are not just style statements, but also a sophisticated choice, reflecting the aesthetic taste of the wearer. As a beauty enthusiast, you surely can't overlook goat milk body wash. Goat milk body wash offers numerous benefits for the skin, such as soothing and moisturizing dry skin, leaving it soft and smooth while providing essential nutrients to nourish the skin. This product is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin providing a relaxing and comfortable feeling after each use. Leave a number one if you want to own a bottle of goat milk body wash. The number of goats supplied to the factory is sourced from local farms owned by farmers. At goat farms, besides providing a suitable living environment for the goats, goat herding is the main task here. Herders usually start their day early, guiding the goats out to the pasture to find food. During herding, they need to keep the goats on track and away from potential dangers. Herding goats often involves bringing along dogs to assist. Dogs are used as useful tools to help herd the goats. They aid herders in controlling and guiding the goats in the desired direction, while also leading them back to the farm at the end of the day. After finishing goat herding, the next task for farmers at the farm is often caring for goat kids.
This requires attention and skills to ensure the kids grow healthy. Care includes providing food, ensuring a clean and warm environment, conducting regular health checks, and vaccination. With careful attention and thorough care, farmers ensure the strong growth and high productivity of the goat kids in the farming process. If you find farm work challenging, leave a zero. If your area is also a place where many goats gather, you can make a goat trap using my method. First, prepare some wire and some favorite goat foods. Carefully set up the trap along the goat's usual paths or near areas where goats often appear. When a goat passes by and touches the trap wire, it will automatically clamp shut, holding the goat's leg and preventing them from moving. Are you feeling tired yet? If not, say goodbye to the goats for now and let's explore the pomegranate processing factory together. First, we'll learn how pomegranates are harvested by farmers. Harvesting pomegranates in the orchard is a meticulous and labor-intensive process. Farmers usually pick pomegranates when they've fully developed their vibrant red color, typically in the fall. The harvesting process typically begins by carefully cutting the pomegranates from the branches using sharp shears or knives. Then, the pomegranates are arranged in baskets or crates for transportation to the processing factory. This process requires technical skill and careful observation from the farmers to ensure the quality of the final product. At the factory, the process of producing pomegranate juice begins by introducing the pomegranates into the processing line after they have been thoroughly cleaned. The pomegranates are then fed into an automatic seed separation conveyor, where the seeds are separated from the pulp. Once the seeds have been removed, the pomegranate pulp is fed into a juicing machine to extract the juice. The juicing process is carried out carefully to ensure the production of pure and flavorful pomegranate juice. Finally, the juice is bottled using an automated bottling process, ensuring the cleanliness and food safety of the final product. In addition to supplying fresh pomegranates for juice processing, farmers also package pomegranates for export. After harvesting, carefully selected pomegranates are packed into crates or boxes. The fruits are wrapped in bubble wrap or protective paper to prevent damage during transportation. Subsequently, the pomegranate crates are sealed and labeled with detailed product information and origin before being shipped to consumer markets worldwide. This rigorous packaging process ensures the freshness and quality of the pomegranates throughout the export journey.
pomegranate is a highly popular fruit known for its sweet and nutritious flavor. Among pomegranate products, pomegranate juice stands out as a particularly popular choice. Pomegranate juice not only provides a refreshing taste, but also offers numerous health benefits. In large cities, you can easily find small shops selling and freshly squeezing pomegranate juice right on the streets. This provides consumers with a convenient way to enjoy the delicious and nutritious pomegranate product anytime, anywhere. Leave a number one if you enjoy pomegranate juice. Dishes made from pomegranate bring richness and allure to cuisine. Pomegranate cake is a popular dessert, often made with flour, sugar, and fresh pomegranate. With its sweet flavor and eye-catching color, pomegranate cake is a favorite choice for many. Pomegranate salad is also a common dish combining diced fresh pomegranate with greens, seeds, and seasonings, creating a natural, fresh, and enticing flavor. Both dishes offer a unique and appealing culinary experience for diners. Turkey meat is a staple at many Thanksgiving dinners in North American households. It's not just about delicious food, it's a symbol of togetherness and enjoying a hearty meal with family and friends. Elaborately prepared turkeys are often roasted or steamed to retain the best moisture and flavor. You can picture the scene of large platters showcasing crispy, browned turkey meat. Exuding rich aromas, adding to the festive Thanksgiving decor. Animal welfare is always a top priority on these farms. Young turkeys are carefully inspected to ensure they're healthy and well adapted to farm conditions. At around four to five weeks old, a portion of their beaks is trimmed to minimize conflict and injuries during rearing. Do you think this is really necessary? If so, drop a 1 in the comments below. On the farm, there are two feeding stages for turkeys, with young chicks in the brooder having access to finely ground feed when they're small, then transitioning to crumbles as they grow. they always have access to feed through automatic feeders. It takes nearly 80 pounds of feed on average to get a male turkey weighing over 30 pounds ready for slaughter. The behavior and habits of mouse deer are as diverse and distinctive as they come. They often lead solitary lives and are primarily nocturnal creatures. Their diet consists of leaves, fruits, tender shoots, and fungi. 
Despite their small size, mouse deer are remarkably agile, capable of climbing, leaping, and sprinting with ease. However, they're also quite timid and tend to hide when danger lurks. The lifespan of this species ranges from 10 to 15 years. In terms of appearance, the mouse deer boasts a petite size, roughly equivalent to that of a household cat. They sport smooth fur and shades of reddish brown or gray, often adorned with white stripes on their chests and bellies. Their faces resemble those of mice with slender, nimble legs, and notably, despite being hoofed animals, they lack horns. Male individuals also sport scent glands on their bellies, Turkeys originate from the Americas. Initially found in South and Central America, they were brought to Europe by the Spanish in the 16th century during their exploration and conquest of new territories. Since then, turkeys have become a significant poultry species in many cultures and have become an essential part of the culinary menus in numerous countries around the world. While mouse deer are widely distributed in tropical and subtropical forests in Asia and Africa, some species are facing the risk of extinction due to habitat loss, hunting, and wildlife trade. Drop a one if you're ready to lend a hand in conserving this animal species. In these farms, every step is carried out meticulously and carefully. The eggs harvested from the hens are inspected and numbered. Those that meet the standards are placed in trays and placed in the incubator. It's crucial to maintain the proper temperature and humidity in the incubator. Keeping the temperature between 99 and 101 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity around 50 to 55 percent is key. Turning the eggs three to five times a day is necessary for proper development. After 28 days of incubation, thousands of baby turkeys hatch simultaneously in sterile hatchery chambers, mimicking the warmth of their mother's embrace. Every year, millions of poultry are transported to processing plants to undergo processing procedures and meet market demands. These turkeys will be placed in moving cages, preparing for the journey to the processing plant, where they'll undergo the meat-making process before being exported to various markets.
Regular health checks are crucial to ensure the well-being of turkeys. Monitoring their weight, observing their behavior, and being vigilant for any signs of illness are all part of the routine. It takes female turkeys or hens about 14 weeks to reach 15.5 pounds while toms or male turkeys take roughly 18 weeks to reach 38 pounds, the weight at which they're processed. The timeline coupled with cheap feed allows farmers to minimize time spent feeding and raising turkeys while maximizing the amount of meat they can sell. The turkey meat-making process in the plant is a tightly knit and modern sequence, from their arrival from the farm to the production of a high-quality products. First, the turkeys are led to the preparation area, where experienced professionals carry out the slaughter process. Care and humane treatment of the animals are top priorities to ensure that the process is carried out ethically and efficiently. Then the turkeys are moved to the processing area, where skilled experts with advanced techniques clean, separate parts, and prepare the meat. Every step is carried out according to food safety standards and strict quality control measures. Did you know that the United States is the largest producer and exporter of turkeys in the world and is the second largest consumer of turkey products after Israel? According to the latest data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the turkey farming industry was valued at over $5.8 billion in 2021, producing 7.18 billion pounds of meat, with 216 million individual poultry produced in the U.S. The turkey industry provides 387,346 jobs for Americans, primarily in rural communities, and generates approximately $22 billion in wages. That's a lot of gobbling going on in the job market. To produce eggs, hens need to be regularly fertilized. This doesn't happen naturally, but through a standardized process. If left to natural fertilization, the egg production rate won't be high, because not every hen gets hit on by the rooster regularly. The number of unfertilized eggs laid by hens will be significantly higher, so farm staff manually inseminate hens with sperm from a test tube. Just like other poultry breeds, turkeys munch on grains, legumes, and bran. Additionally, they gobble up about 30 to 40% of greens and grass. 
That's why turkey farmers often let them roam on pasture fields or confine them in spacious pens. Farm owners must ensure to provide a warm and clean environment for newly hatched chicks. Feeding the chicks plays a crucial role in their development. To ensure robust growth, using high-quality feed with balanced nutrition is undeniable. Additionally, it's equally important to ensure a constant supply of clean water. The mouse deer, also known by the delightful moniker Tiny Hoofed Creature, is one of the unique and precious beings in the natural world. Classified within the mouse deer family, they belong to the suborder Tragulina and encompass a grand total of 10 species, divided into three genera. Welcome to the haven where mouse deer roam and thrive. The conservation and breeding sanctuary for mouse deer stands as a beacon of enthusiasm and commitment to safeguarding this precious and rare animal species. Here, mouse deer are not only nurtured but also have their natural habitats restored, allowing them the freedom to roam and revel in expansive spaces without constraints. Every day at the sanctuary is a new adventure, where you can witness the excitement on everyone's faces as they behold the natural and wild renaissance of mouse deer being revitalized and nurtured. From tracking these small wanderers through the forest to witnessing their seamless integration into the natural environment, everyone is brimming with energy and excitement. With meticulous care and affection, the mouse deer breeding sanctuary is not just a haven for conserving this rare animal species, but also a wellspring of inspiration and pride for the community, offering hope for the future of natural ecosystems. But how do these North American farmers tame these wild beasts? It's a tale as old as time, rooted in the fertile soil and mild climate of Texas. The gentle winters and abundant summers of the Lone Star State set the perfect stage for these creatures to thrive, with rich natural food sources and minimized costs. At the Broken Arrow Ranch, spanning over 100 to 170 acres of wild land, an outdoor rearing model reigns supreme. Here, under the vast Texas skies, wild boars roam freely, nibbling on nature's bounty, crafting flavors and nutritional value like no other. Thank you for watching. Your companionship is our joy and motivation to create engaging videos every day. If you enjoyed this video, leave a 1 in the comments section.
Any mistakes you point out will help us improve the quality of each video. Now goodbye and see you in the next videos. Welcome to our channel which is run by a pro team. First the channel manager, content writer, and finally the editor.